You want to ask Loki like that shit. Stop lying. No, let me see the color of your bruise, bitch. <laughs> How about that? What's up, hot boys, hot girls, and talk guys across the world? It's me, Reggie. And today, like, I don't even really need to do an explanation at this point. I literally just dropped episode one and two today. So, bitch, you already see what it is. By the title and the thumbnail, you see we're reacting to Korea's the latest video drama on the scene, Color Rush. Literally serving you the freshest puss. I just landed like fresh tilapia. After staying up editing this until like one or two o'clock, I'm still pretty much basking in the excitement of this show. So I'm just still pretty much on like an excited hype level high about this shit because again, all the major points I'm loving. We're getting the little cute, fluffy, charming stuff. Girl, you see how motherfucking Yu Hong's just got down throwing a charm at his bitch. You know what I'm saying? Whisper sweet somethings in his ear, touching his hand, trying to caress him. That they can feel the colors. They can learn the colors, girl. You see what he was doing, bitch. I just really hope that three and four continues the greatness that was one and two. One and two was fantastic. We got excellent exposition about the way they live in. We learned about, you know, we saw how the boys connected with the whole Mono Probe thing. We even got a little bit of insight to that whole dynamic with Monos and Probes in general and how sometimes that relationship can turn very chaotic and shit. So I'm, you know, wondering how are, you know, how, how are they gonna develop with their own Mono Probe relationship? Um, I'm hoping that we see more of Yuhan side of things. So I'm hoping that three and four shows us the remainder of the synopsis. I want to see Yonu recruit Yuhan so we can get that shit out the way. So even if they don't do it in episode three, um, at least episode four, so five and onward can just play out how they want it to play out. And you know, I'm just, I really want to see some development or something with Yuhan these two episodes because we already know Yonu, you know what I'm saying? He's a mono. We know the importance of being bitch colorblind and finally being able to see color. That's like being deaf and finally being able to hear. Like that's just a very like emotional, like overwhelming moment for you. So we understand his background. He lost his mom and the rush of emotions he felt when he finally saw color. And again, everything with his mom, we, we know his basic understanding of his character. But Yuhan, he seems like a very like Casanova, sly, charmy, do what the fuck he want to do type of girl. And it just very, it seems like after those two episodes that he's kind of doing things with his own interests in mind. Like when he proposed the shit of teaching him colors, all he said was he'd like seeing his eyes. He think the boy's pretty. He love his eyes. He thinks those shits are pretty. And he want to keep seeing them shits whenever you have a color rush. So that's kind of like very superficial. And we know that, you know, the young who's going to recruit him to find his mother. And we know how serious that is because Auntie Edom already said the girls were trying to stop her from finding her sister. Which bitch, you got a bitch fucked up if you think she about to just not look for her motherfucking sister when she was kidnapped. The fuck? So I just want to know that when when shit goes down, when shit hit the fan, Yonu is willing, able, and always motherfucking ready to lay the motherfucking hands, okay? Because we already know that Yonu, not yeah, yeah, we know that Yonu, he can defend himself. He already just told us he was beating bitches up at his old school for picking on him being a mono. So we know he got that shit. But kidnapping mama shit, this is going to be a whole different type of ball game. So I need to know, for my niece's sake, that boyfriend ain't afraid to throw the motherfucking dumb dumbs, bitch. Run up and get the fuck done up. You stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. You want the hands, what the fuck is up? I wish a bitch would try him in front of his motherfucking mono. So that's what I want to see from you all. So I'm really hoping that we get the recruitment or whatever so we can get the synopsis out the way and again have everything just play out away from the synopsis. And again, shout out to the bitch that wrote the synopsis because you did a wonderful job painting the picture without telling us too much shit. So I'm just, that leaves me wondering. I'm excited to see where this goes because we just don't fucking know. I mean, unless you read the, the webtoon or whatever. So don't spoil it in the comments if you have. I will block you. I'm dead ass. But yeah, girl, so I, I'm just super excited to go ahead and get this shit started. I normally watch this on Viki, but Viki doesn't have episode four translated yet. So, bitch. <laughs> so yes, you guys, let's go ahead and cut the chit chat and get straight into the show. But before we do, don't forget to like and don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to also follow me on Twitter and Instagram so you can recommend me more things and be a little blah, 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 blah. 
so you can recommend me more BL things to react to and other top of replay things of the sort. And also, you guys, we are on the road to 1,000 subs so we can get a community tab. I love, 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 love interacting with you guys in the comments. I'm sure you guys already know by now. You guys seem to really enjoy episode one and two of Color Rush, and I've been chatting with you guys damn near all day about this shit. So yes, let's get that community tab on and popping. So if you have any Yaoi, Fujoshi, Fudashi, Sime, Uke, top, bottom, dick and booty, whole loving ass friends, go on send them my way and tell them I said what's popping. But yes, you guys, let's just cut the chit chat and get straight into the show. But before we do, cue my intro. <laughs> Okay, so again, episode three is uploaded and fully subtitled on Viki. The episode four is not out yet, so we may have to watch that elsewhere. Does anybody else agree with me with fucking Yuhan's character looking like Solo? Like that one shot especially. So look at him getting all, getting all aggressive. See, he know what he doing. Look at him, little Casanova ass. He know what he doing. Teasing that boy like that, then talking about a no. But he can't see it that way, girl. I mean, he can see it, but... <laughs> oh, my God. See, look at him. I, I see what type of boy he about to be. Are you skipping school? I mean, skipping class, niece? You can't go to a new fucking school and be skipping already. Is he literally like just right there looking at him? Oh my god. Oh, so he about to have a motherfucking. Right, you about to have a house to yourself. Right. He ain't got his mama, bitch. You don't want to lose his aunt. Now, God invite boyfriend over, you know what I'm saying? So y'all can get a little closer. Oh, is he scared that she not going to really come back? What the fuck? Okay, is this grandfather shit like really a thing in him? I mean, shit with the whole mono and pro shit, I don't doubt it. Um, Yuhan is a little cutie pie, look at him. <laughs> you jealous, bitch? The fuck is you up to, boyfriend? 
Why is it so dark? Isn't it like the middle of the day? What you doing, bitch? For real, where are the fucking lights? Mm, have you? Okay. But bitch, how? How are we supposed to trust you? How we know this? Oh yeah, he did say come to the lab later, so I guess it could be nighttime. Bitch, what is we doing? I thought that was a small ass clothes. I was like, girl, what the fuck we going in this enclosed face for? <laughs> Bitch, where? I can barely fucking see this shit. Like, right, could you at least, like, ask for real before you just do that shit? Like, you know it's triggering. And for real, damn, like, do a bitch gotta faint every time? Is it light prism? Oh my god, yes! Oh my god! I knew it! That's so cute. It's just a thought. Like, yes, bitch. The moment he said a rainbow and it would have rain, I knew that light prism was coming out. He is so cute for that. <laughs> Me? Like, this is a very intimate moment for them. Like, this is something that really the, the, the two of them can only do. Well, only what fucking Yuhan can do for him. Like, something so simple, so touching. See, here you go. Why? Why are you pun- see? <sighs> he played too much.
it's kind of like a, we're not strangers. It's like a your mind sort of ordeal. Like you can see all the colors and whatever you want. You just gotta let me be the one to do it for you. Like you can have it all if you just submit to me. And just, oop, nope, turn the shit off. Like, fucking childish. Mm. See, not an exception. I feel like Baby Boy is afraid of himself almost. You eat on them tea? Yeah, see, I, I think that's his deal. Like, seeing shit like that, just seeing, like, Mono's being over the news, I think he's afraid of himself. Or afraid of what he'll become. Right, you turn the TV on. She know you, boy. Mm. Damn, the man who killed his family? Well, so he didn't really just tell her that. Because clearly she would have said something. So you gotta stop being a tease and be ready to have my man back. Like baby boy's going through a lot. Not like duh, bitch, clear, huh? See, you know, stop denying it, boo. Just go. I mean, I understand exactly why you're doing what you're doing because you don't want to, like, end up like the girls you see on TV. But you can't deny what you feel. What I tell you, bitch, you got the house to itself, girl. Yeah, I can say, fucking Yuhan is a wild card. He about to get it popping in his house. Okay. Go on, get your nigga. Cause you're going to get your nigga. What you mean where you putting it on? Hmm? But you think you want to...
Right? Okay, that's something new. You ain't never seen the night sky lit up, bitch. Like, come on. Boy, please. Hey, damn, bitch. Give him a flash. Give me the effects, give me the eyeballs. Like, that shit looks so cute. Oh, girl, where you looking? Where your eyes lingering, bitch? Seriously, can he fucking build up an immunity already? Like, I would, hate, I would be like, bitch, yes, don't come near me. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of having headaches and just collapsing on the fucking ground all the time. But this is cute in the middle of the I'm taking my guess. Yeah, so did he just know the colors of the rainbow because he just know what the rainbow is made of? Because you definitely said orange, yellow, rain, blue, indigo, all that shit, and you know what yellow is right there. Fading, bro. Look at him again. Oh, what well, I tell you, dude. That boy's so furry. See, what I tell you, Thomas, um, look at my face when I tell you to. That boy just want to be, he want to be the dom. <laughs> Baby, why you fight? Yes, girl, caramel brown, bitch. You were mesmerized by the beauty of his eyes. But again, I get it. But baby, you ain't got to be afraid. You ain't got to be afraid of that good luck, good luck. Like, come on. <laughs> Not him sneaking around trying to avoid him. Why'd she be like right there? Soon as you turn the corner. Boom. Well, guess not.
Nigga, you ain't have to goddamn. Did you not see him walking in front of you? Ooh. Damn, did you punch that shit out of him? Damn. You want to ask Loki like that shit? Stop playing. Let me see the color of your bruise, bitch. <laughs> How about that? They're right. But you know you want to stop being all nervous. It's going to be a little nervous, but not too nervous. Don't be too open. Just be open enough. See, okay, so does the colorish happen even when he's not completely... Like, with the mask off? <laughs> you can take it off if you want to, baby. Okay, so the color rush just, it doesn't always happen the same. Just a bit. So how much of the color can you see now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, is he lighting up the memories of his... Why did I just say another episode? Like, lighting up the colors of his memories. Like, his mom, that was a little bit of color that just happened when she was saying yellow. Ooh, girl. Oh, you don't even remember that. So prolonged color rush can kind of fuck them up. Damn, don't even remember shit. That's, bro, being a model is kind of fucked up. Baby still caught up in his own fucking feelings.
Boy, you better start caressing that bitch cheek like that, goddamn. He trying not to follow, bitch, but you just, you keep, you keep trying him. Oh, never mind. Right, like, what, what? I mean, he wants you to get away. He's trying to protect you. Bro, you know you want this boy close to you. Exactly. There you go. Acknowledge me. And that terrifies him. He wants to hang on to you to the color forever. But he's seen how those how those stories go. The mono's killing the pro. Like they big said they was eat eight day asses. Like, God damn. Okay. Alright. Bitch. Okay, so episode three and four. I didn't get it necessarily what I wanted. However, just looking at it in hindsight, though, we were still moving the story along. Yeah, because clearly when Auntie said that she was going off, I even kind of figured that she was going to explore the lead as well. So we're kind of moving the story along with the whole investigative mother. We are seeing that as he's getting more used to the color rush, his, his literal memories were coming in color. So we're still kind of getting a little bit of the, the the mysterious kidnapping of his mom and how the color rush is going to play into that. So I'm hoping that, yes, the more he's getting used to the color rush, then maybe, hopefully, next episode, it has to be episode five, where he finally recruits him. Because we, we have to get past the synopsis episode. Like we, we have to get the color rush shit under control. Because baby boy need to fucking stop fainting all the time when that shit happens. Like, I would be fed up with that shit. And, you know, I guess, yo, fuck, I said yo, dude. Um, Yuan, he, he's very persistent, you know. I feel like if a bitch was very flimsy, he wouldn't be as persistent as he is. He definitely, I mean, he he's saying everything he's done is out of genuine feeling. And I feel like that's, you know, like I said, Yuhan seems like the bitch that moves to the beat of his own drum. So if he didn't want to do all of this shit, he wouldn't fucking do it. So I kind of feel like he's there. I just, I need that like 100%. Yes, this is my nigga. Don't fuck with him. I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass if you try it. So yeah. And seeing how, you know, protective he was. Even he was crying when he thought something happened to his man. I just want to see a bitch get beat the fuck up. 
Period. It was cute. I was low key. I was being real quiet on that fucking rooftop scene because I thought it was about to kiss. And I was like, bitch, if he kissed him, he gonna get more than the color rush, bitch. He gonna get fucked up. So I'm just, yeah. I'm worried about Auntie. I really hope she comes back safe and sound. I just, I, I just feel for my baby Yonu because I, as much as I know he wants to, again, you could just very much see that he's scared of himself. He doesn't want, he never wanted to meet the probe because he don't want to end up like these other bitches. His aunt clocked him to a T. Don't you watch this motherfucking news. This ain't got nothing to him to do with a fucking mono. That just happened off some other shit. His wife wasn't even a probe. Don't even motherfucking think that deep into it. Turn that motherfucking TV off. I know you fucking looking at the shit on TV and don't go searching this shit on the interweb because I know your ass doing that too. So I'm, I'm just, I feel for my baby though. Like, again, as a mama's boy, I know that this shit is terrifying. Like he's probably thinking that his mama went off on the deep end somewhere, bitch, because of the fucking mono and probe. I don't know. I'm just, I feel for him. And I just really want, like, Yuhan to just be his peace. Like, I really want him to open up his world to color. But also, baby, again, I know, I, 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 well, I don't know what it's like to be colorblind, but I can only imagine not seeing things in color and just seeing colors everywhere. It's just like, oh my God, red, blue, orange. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I just really want him to just not be afraid of himself. Like, cause I get it. Like just having the only, like having your probe only give you temporary moments of like happiness for that shit to just fade slowly after. Like, it's like, you're, it's like he's living on the high of the color and he's just, he's chasing that high. He's a fucking colorish crackhead at this point. So I, I get him. He's afraid of the color. The drug is his color. And he's like, bitch, I don't, if this is what it's going to do to me, I'd rather live without it. I get it. But baby, you, you got to, I don't even know what the fuck, what advice I want to get to my baby because, bitch, I can just only imagine what he's going through. But yes, three and four, still moving along, you know. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm getting very much dom and sub vibes just a little bit but he wants he wants them in the palm of his hand you don't want to be in control you look he said bitch you look at my face when i tell you to but also still giving him giving him the control i want you to i want you to put the ointment on for me go ahead you know put down a little bit give him a little slight little color rush listen i know what you want baby you ain't you ain't gotta you ain't gotta hold yourself back you can take the mask off if you want to so he know, he know his man, bitch. He know. I just um, I just don't know how to feel about again Yuhan as the wild card character. But he he seemed like his heart is in it for the right place. So bitch, if he don't fucking disappoint me, I'm I'm here for him. I will say though, outside of just the look, I don't want to be too critical because we kind of just started it. But I really feel like that. Um, Yonu's actor is the stronger actor of the two. Kind of like what I felt like Solo and Oxygen the series was very like one note. I'm kind of getting that from Yuhan too. Like it was kind of like it was the the only like difference was when he met them in the stairwell. He kind of seemed more like you know haha like giggity or whatever. Like when he was um you know not taking care of. But, you know, he snatched the milk and gave it to his man, you know, trying to be a little cute. It comes to me in a little laboratory room. He's very one note, kind of, sort of. Like I said, we, we see all these different things from, from Yonu. Like, we understand, like, we literally can understand his motivations and his conflict. We see the conflict going on with him and why he's like, yes, I want to see the color. I want this. But at the same time, I don't want to be like these niggas on TV. I don't want to hurt you. You're my probe, so you're obviously somebody significant to me. But I don't want you to be caught up in this shit of the mono world. When you see, he literally said, when you see a mono, nigga, you run. I don't, I don't want this for you. I don't want to hurt you. So I'm just, uh so much so many questions so little time so little episodes like i'm really i'm gonna wait until the end to determine if i'm gonna read the webtoon or not because i really feel like that's where i'm gonna get the most satisfaction from but damn it's just still so good to see the fucking lives bring these stories to life and in living color 
But yes, you guys, what did you think about episodes three and four? Leave a comment down below. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially hit that like button so you guys let me know that you want to see episodes five and six when they drop because you know a bitch is staying on top of it. So yes, girl. That's it for me, guys. Go ahead and hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, you know the T. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell for the combo breaker so you know when a bitch video is live. And let's get that community tap popping. We on the road to 1,000 subs. I love you guys. Let's talk. Let's discuss. Give me some more shit. What other like BLs are currently out other than Tong Hong Chona T that I can watch right now? And that's another thing. I want that community tab too, so the shit that I don't watch on camera, we can still discuss in the tab. But anyway, you guys, that's enough. I'm rambling. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.